There are many species of scorpion fish in the area, and it is often impossible to accurately identify them from pictures alone, due to the minor differences in their anatomy and the highly variable nature of their camouflage. All scorpion fishes possess venomous spines on the dorsal and anal fins for self-defense and for stunning their prey. They can also deliver a painful, sometimes even deadly sting to humans. The sting can be deactivated and the pain alleviated with prolonged immersion in hot water. Like so many cryptic lembe creatures, scorpion fishes are ambush predators, using camouflage to remain hidden then pouncing on unsuspecting prey when it passes. One of the best camouflaged of all is the Ambon scorpion fish, named after the island to the southeast in the Maluku Islands. It has very long protrusions, particularly above its eyes. Due to its sedentary lifestyle, this individual has gathered a lot of algae on its body. Like many scorpion fishes, it will soon clean itself by shedding the outer layer of its skin, known as the cuticle. In the meantime, the algae helps it disappear into the surrounding territory. The scorpion fish of the Rhinopius genus are fantastic and rare creatures, and considered by many to be the holy grail of muckdiving finds. The Eschmeyer scorpion fish, sometimes known as a paddle flap scorpion fish, is occasionally found by lucky divers. This pink specimen was resident for a long time at Air Parang. Three days after my initial sighting, the same individual had gathered a lot of algae on its body. Like the Ambon scorpion fish, Rhinopius regularly shed their cuticle to rid themselves of such algae and other unwanted organisms. The weedy scorpion fish, Rhinopius frondosa, typically bears a spotted coloration and more skin filaments than the Eschmeyer scorpion fish. This one was also at Air Parang, where bright yellow variants have previously been seen. Both Eschmeyers and weedy scorpion fishes are often seen in the same locality, leading some to speculate that they are in fact morphological variations of the same species. Like the nearby Eschmeyer scorpion fish, this one also gathered algae on its body during our three-day absence. Lion fishes are close relatives of scorpion fishes. Rather than camouflage, they bear a bold warning pattern to advertise their toxicity and confuse predators. Like scorpion fishes, they have venomous spines along their dorsal fin, but the venom glands are smaller, so their sting is generally less potent. Human fatalities are very rare. This dwarf lionfish, also known as a short fin turkey fish, splays its dorsal rays to maximize its defenses. It feeds mainly on crabs at night. In this pair, the male at the rear can be identified by its larger head and longer pectoral fins, with more bands than those of its female partner. Red lionfish are sometimes seen too. This is a young red lionfish sheltering next to an oil drum at Air Parang. They have tentacles above the eyes, and some exhibit globular fleshy growths beneath these tentacles. Here we find a mature adult at Jahir. Although indigenous only to the Indo-Pacific, 
red lionfish have been introduced to the east coast of the United States and spread all the way from North Carolina down to the Caribbean. With few natural predators and a voracious appetite for smaller reef fishes, the population has expanded exponentially, wiping out many native species and greatly upsetting the balance of reef ecosystems. In a battle to control the invasion, divers are encouraged to catch lionfishes. Lionfish derbies are held, with prizes for the highest number of catches, and even lionfish cookbooks have been produced. Scientists are trying to understand why the native Indo-Pacific population is not out of control, in an effort to find solutions to the West Atlantic invasion. One fish that divers should be wary of in the Lembe Strait is the demon stinger, as its sting is extremely painful and can be deadly to humans.